If you're a single career woman between the ages of 25 to 29 and you're living in China, you're probably referred to as a leftover woman. That's because Chinese women are traditionally expected to marry in their early 20s. But now one in every five women in their mid to late 20s is single. Despite work pressure and career ambitions, many of these so-called leftover women are looking for love. And our reporter Stanley Lee went to a group dating session in Beijing to find out more. According to a recent report, over 40 percent of single women in China say they lack suitable mates in their everyday social circle. So half of these are turning to online dating services. While service providers are seeing steady booming business, for the individual the impetus to get married varies at different stages of their lives. The general pattern is single women tend to get rather anxious after 28, but when they reach about 33, many realize they're doing pretty well on their own, so they lose some incentive. But when they reach 36, they become anxious again, because the kids of their married friends is growing up before them, and they want to get married. Again, when they reach 40, they're again more comfortable with being single because they're past an ideal childbearing age and in an advanced stage in their careers, so they become pretty content. Contrary to the notion of many in China, the life of a single woman can be very rich and diverse. They tend to have significant social status and enrich their lives with a wide array of hobbies, things they wanted to learn as a kid but never got around to doing, like learning an instrument or yoga, for example. They value a healthy lifestyle and cultivating their taste, so they can be more ready to meet a suitable partner. Yet still, a significant number of singles prefer a more conventional way to search for possible mates. Group dating may seem unconventional in Western countries, but it is a way many in China are comfortable with, including but not limited to the 25 to 30 age group. People gather by the hundreds on a regular basis. There's one and a half times more women that use these services than men. Marriage expert Tong Li explains why there's a significant spread in the gender ratio here. Many Chinese are moving into cities in search of better opportunities. For many men, it's harder to settle down in the city because they're expected to be able to support not just themselves, but also their parents and accumulate wealth for marriage. So in the end, more women end up staying in cities than men. Another reason is that people born in the 1980s are often only children, and they can be overindulged, often asserting their own standards, so many single women tend to wait for the person that matches their standards to show up. But as they wait, pressure builds up from all sides. While the percentage of single women in China is still low compared to many countries, there are pressures on singles to marry based on cultural values that date back thousands of years. For many Chinese, filial piety is very important, and on the subject of marriage, the opinion of parents carries significant weight. For many parents, the marriage of their children is a family issue, not an individual decision. So even if their daughter is in no rush, they would take it upon themselves to hurry her along. The ratio of marriageable people in China is heavily slanted towards men, especially for people more than 25 years old. Now that means women over that age should have a better opportunity to find their suitable half. But it has not turned out that way. That's why more and more women are coming to group dates like this to find their better half. As the group dating progresses, some are spotting possible candidates. We ask them what's on their minds. I like men who are responsible and ambitious in their career, but above all, he has to have a kind heart. A person like that can't go wrong. I'm not picky on appearances. I don't know who suits me when I see him. I value inner qualities like loyalty and character. He also has to be able to at least put bread on the table. The group date reached its climax with confessions of love and pairing up to find out more about each other on future dates. This gentleman is torn as two ladies approached him. An example of how the gender ratio in China can favor men among urban singles between the ages of 25 and 29. He tries his best to please both potential marriage partners. 
agreeing to meet them separately. While Chinese generally avoid tense situations and shun confrontation, the pressure to get married has made these single ladies uncommonly bold. Stanley Lee, CCTV, Beijing.